Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Happy Sunday. My name is Apostle Gabriel Chukwebuka Okafo. I'm super excited to be here today with you. Glory be to God. Wow. Today we're going to be discussing on the topic that says, His life-giving spirit. Glory be to God. His life-giving spirit. Our first scripture will come from the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 10. Romans 8.10 says, I read from the Passion Translation. From the Passion Translation it says, Now Christ lives his life in you. And even though your body may be dead because of the effects of sin, his life-giving spirit imparts life to you because you are fully accepted by God. Hallelujah. Now let's break this down quickly. It says, it says now Christ lives in you. Christ lives his life in you. So as a child of God, we must understand that the life we have received is basically Christ living, having his expression through us. Hallelujah. Now he says, and even though your body may be dead because of the effects of sin. Because of the effects of sin. And he says what? He says, his life-giving spirit. But because you have received Christ in you, and Christ in you is the Holy Spirit of God in you. Hallelujah. That's what makes us different from men in the world. You see, you can have the same bottle of Coke, Coca-Cola, but if you pour the different um, content in that second bottle of Coca-Cola, another one has the main Coca-Cola um, content, they're not the same. They're not the same. So you must understand that you were filled before, you know, with, 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 a, with a different spirit, but the day you got born again, Christ came to make his abode in you. And because you have Christ in you, the spirit of the Lord God Almighty in you, now he says his life-giving spirit, his life-giving spirit imparts life to you. So you have to be aware of it, child of God, that because I have the Holy Spirit of God in me, he imparts life in me. Hallelujah. Life-giving spirit. Glory be to God. That tells you that if there be any sickness in your body, as long as you are conscious of this life-giving spirit that God has baptized you with, that because they have his life giving spirit inside of you, it means that anything dead can be brought back to life. Glory be to God. That's that what the Lord is showing us today. He says, Life giving spirit imparts life to you because you are fully accepted by God. Not because you are a man that is found doing what you think that you, can, you could do by your own righteousness to qualify. No. It's because God had accepted you. How did He accept you? The day you accepted His Son Jesus Christ. That was the day you accepted the Father's love. And that was the day that Jesus baptized with his life-giving spirit. Because you must understand that even Jesus, when he walked here on earth, he was baptized by John the Baptist, right? John baptized him, right, at the river. And what happened? Instantly the Holy Spirit came upon Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, Jesus baptizes you and I with the Holy Spirit of God. And you must have that consciousness that because I have got the Holy Spirit of God in me, because I have got the life-giving spirit in me, that means that what I am I am a man that walk in divine health. Doesn't matter whatever sign you may receive around you. Doesn't matter whatever sign that may come around you. Just be aware of the life giving spirit of the spirit that God has baptized you with. By, 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 by baptized you with in the name of in, in Son Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now this same scripture, Romans eight verse ten. Let's look at it quickly from from um, King James version. It says, "And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin." But the spirit of life, it says, but, but, it says, but the spirit is life because of what righteousness. So now you must understand that yes, the body may be dead because of sin. Why? Is, why do you see, Why do you think people go old and perish because of the fallenness of the first man Adam, who sinned against God? But we must understand that yes, the first man Adam has sinned against God. The second and the last Adam, Jesus, came to redeem us from what the fallenness of the first man Adam, and what because of what what Christ has performed, His righteous work. Not because of your own righteousness. You are a man that has received the gift of righteousness in Christ Jesus. That means he has given his very own righteousness as a gift. Hallelujah. That comes from the Father himself. So you must understand that word. It says, but the, the spirit is life because of what? Righteousness. Because of righteousness. So are you the righteousness of God? Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Have you been declared righteous by the, by, 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 the, by, the, by the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in your life? Have you, has he baptized with the Spirit? Hallelujah. That tells you that you have the advantage. Glory be to God. So today I bring you good news. That if there be any sickness in your body, if there be any disease in your body, if there be any pain in your body, 
as a child of God who has been baptized of the Holy Spirit of God, be aware that the Spirit of God is in you. The life giving Spirit is in you to what? To reverse that which the enemy has done against you. To reverse that which the body has what? As an encounter because of the fallen nature of the first man, Adam. Because of the sin of the first man, Adam. And I bring it to you that there is no limit, there is no limit to what the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God can do, to, do for you. Understand that the dead spirit that rose Christ from the dead. When Jesus walked on earth, he had been baptized of the Holy Spirit after the water baptism that John had done with him. What happened? That same spirit was what raised Christ from the dead. So if the spirit can raise the dead, it tells you and I, it can easily heal anything. It can, he can reverse anything. Hallelujah. Same spirit that rose Christ from the dead. Now, if you look further in that same book of Romans 8, verse 11 says something to us. It says, Yes! God raised Jesus to life. Hallelujah. God raised Jesus to life. How did he do it? He says, and since God's spirit of resurrection lives in you. So God raised Jesus to life by what? By his spirit that lives in him. That, lived in, that lives in the Lord Jesus when he walks on this earth. Now that same spirit that lives in you. He says, he says, and since God's spirit of resurrection. That's the Holy Spirit of God. That's the spirit of, that, that, that's Christ in you now. Hallelujah. He says, and since, he says, and since God's spirit of resurrection lives in you, he will also raise your dying body to life by the same spirit that breathes life into you. Brothers and sisters, are you aware that the spirit of God that is in us, he breathes life into us? Are you conscious of his presence in your life? Are you conscious of, of the life that he breathes into you? That it doesn't matter whatever you are faced with. It doesn't matter how bad it has gone. That is why most times, you know, um, believers are encouraged to share their testimonies so that Someone who has similar issue can hear your own testimony and be delivered from the from the wickedness of the enemy, for the from the from the from the from the, from the works of sin, from the dying body that that, that 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 came forth because of what of sin. You and I now can hear the testimony. Maybe you are dealing currently dealing with eye problem. Currently you are dealing with leg problem. Currently you are dealing with kidney problem. When you hear that how God reversed people that had stage four kidney problem and now they are healed, you know that whatever you are dealing with at stage one or stage two has been dealt with a long time ago, and it's not because of your own righteousness. It's because of what you have received the life giving spirit of God in you. Are you conscious of this in, in your life? You see, if you if I gave you something beautiful, and you're not aware of what I've given you, and you're not aware of how to use what I've given you, you know, it because of, it's a disadvantage for, for that person. And that will not be a portion of my Lord Jesus' name. So I'm bringing it to you today to be aware of what Christ has done for you and I. To understand that the spirit of God that is in you is life-giving spirit. To understand that he has given you divine health by baptizing with, you, with his Holy Spirit. To understand that you have the advantage that the Spirit of God have, have come to help you. He's our comforter. And when the Lord says uh, you, are, you, you we are healed, He healed you by what? Giving His very own Spirit. Hallelujah. Because that Spirit of God that is in you now, it gives you what? Life. Hallelujah. He vitalizes your mortal being. That means He begins to he constantly will supply life to your body. Because though the body be dead because of sin, but because of what the life giving spirit that is in you, you are sustained. Glory be to God. You have life in the name of Jesus. So I bring you good news. That same spirit that rose Christ from the dead, he, the spirit of resurrection, now lives in you. He said, He will also raise your dying body to life by the same spirit that breathes life into you. I believe that by the grace of God that you are wake, you are, we are waking to know this now. That the spirit of God that you have received in you, he breathes life into you. Hallelujah. Are you currently baptized of the Holy Spirit of God? Congratulations. You know, we say things like, um, part of the fruits of you knowing that you have been baptized of the Holy Spirit, first of all, is that you have made the confession of accepting Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Secondly, can be the power that, yes, you speak in new tongues. Because these tongues, on your own, you couldn't have spoken them. Right? But now, because of have received the Spirit of God in you, you're able to speak in new tongues. That tells you and I that what? If you can speak in new tongues, if you, can, if you, have, if you have received Jesus as a Lord and Savior, you have life-giving Spirit in you to live above sickness. Hallelujah. And don't let the enemy bring you those lies that because of what you have done wrongly in time past, that's, that's why this sickness is allowed to prevent your body. It doesn't matter how bad things may have gone. Know that the Lord Jesus Christ has baptized the Spirit to both bring life to your dying body. So it doesn't matter whatever sin that I brought for that thing that happened. Someone may be like, okay, but for example, he or she have given his life to Jesus as is born again, but somehow went and had sex with somebody and now he has been affected. And then the enemy is telling you that, oh, that infection is because of your access with somebody. Yes, you have done something that is wrong. But never you forget that, yes, you are 
God's own. You are God's child and his love towards you is everlasting. He doesn't let you go from the sin you have committed. No, you are not a sinner. You are only a man that, what, that did what was wrong. And because you are not a sinner, that's why you can count as a wrong thing. If you, are, if you, are, you could recognize it as being a wrong thing in your life, that's because you, are what, you have got God's righteousness that told you that this thing you have done is contrary to your nature. Hallelujah. It's not the way you are, you are designed to be. See, you must understand that, yes, a soldier is not only a soldier when he puts... A, a soldier is, is known to wear um, uniform, right? He's recognized as a soldier by wearing a uniform, right? Now, if the soldier removes that uniform, he's still a soldier, right? But that's, that uniform is, a, is, is what, what, what represents you as a soldier before many. So, so in the realm of the Spirit, if you are baptized of the Spirit of God, now let's talk about the soldier. That soldier is qualified not because of that uniform. He was qualified because he had what? He had gone through the process that qualified to be a soldier. That the process has gone through. Training has gone through. That qualified to be a soldier. Now he was made a soldier. So just say, if now that soldier has removed his uniform and people could not recognize that he's a soldier, what he needs to do is what? Put on his uniform. Put on his uniform. So, so as a child of God, you understand that, yes, the day you received Christ Jesus as our Lord and Savior, that was the day you died in him. You died with him. On the cross of Calvary, that was the day you crucified everything about sin on the cross of Calvary because in him you performed it. Now, that was the same day that you, what, you entered the, into, the, um, into the heart of this earth. You are buried with him. And that was the same day that what, you rose together with him. Hallelujah. So you are a partaker of what Christ has, has done. That process that you went through to bring forth you and I. Now, that process, you are not a partaker of it. Glory be to God. So also, you are a child of God. And you are, you are giving you a garment of what? Righteousness. So if your garment of righteousness is stained... Because of going to do things that, that ought not to be done. That means what? Just like a soldier who has removed his own garment. Who has removed his garment. That is still a soldier. All he needs to do is what? To put on that garment. But somebody who has never went through the process cannot come and wear that soldier's garment and say that I'm um, not a soldier. That is why you see, when, when soldiers see um, um, civilians who put on their uniform, they have every right to, to question that, that civilian. So understand that you as a child of God, if you have allowed sin to have a way in your life, what the Lord is asking of you to do now is remove that garment of sin from your life. Remove it by what? Put on righteousness. Hallelujah. By you recognizing the works of the Lord in your life and get to the word of God. That true righteousness, true righteousness, not by your own strength, not by your own power, but by the spirit of God I has given you. Hallelujah. You and I can live what? Can allow the life-giving spirit what? to fertilize our mortal being. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And one other way you can also be conscious of, your, of the Spirit of God that is in you is through prayer. Through prayer. As you study God's word that feeds your spirit, be conscious of what, of what? Praying all the time. That's what the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 4 says. The one who speaks in tongues advances his own spiritual progress. Why the other? Why the one who prophesies builds up the church? So when you speak in tongues, you are advancing your what? Your spiritual progress. So you see that that is the same way that what as soldiers they have ranks, ranks. So you must ensure that you are, you are giving to what to speaking in tongues, so that you will keep advancing yourself. You will be conscious of the spirit of God that is in you, because it gives you that consciousness of His presence. And then now you cannot what, rely on Him. Hallelujah! That when the enemy brings you things, instead of to display fear, you display faith. Hallelujah! To know that it doesn't matter whatever. I know one thing for sure. When you are a man that, give, that is given to speaking in tongues, a lot, it helps you to live above sin. I know one thing for sure. If a man is given to study of God's word first, it helps you as well to impart with the knowledge that you need that enables you to what? To enjoy your presence in him. Hallelujah. Glory to be to God. I'm super excited to be here with us. My name is Remain Apostle Gabriel Chukwebuka Okafo. And I'm going to give us our number, um, uh, the number you can get to reach us. You know, go ahead and call us. And I know that by the grace of God, you're going to be healed today. Hallelujah. But before we get to that point, let me give us, let me give us this number. 081-081-055-44424. You can reach us anytime. We'll be excited to receive your call. 081-055-44424. Glory be to God. Now, I want to place your hand on your chest. I want to place your hand on your chest. 
And before we go ahead and, and declare the word, because God is going to release everyone that is bound by, by the spirit of sickness. Any sickness that's in your body is going to leave you right now. And before we get there, now look at that scripture that we read earlier. It says, now Christ lives, now Christ lives his life in you. That tells you that before you are qualified to begin to have the life-giving spirit work in you, you must first receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I want you to go ahead and, and declare Jesus as your Lord and Savior. As you receive the Lord Jesus into your hearts, now the Spirit of God, He's going to baptize you with His Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We will be being well to vitalize your mortal being. We need to supply life to your mortal being. Hallelujah. So just go ahead and say this words with me. Say there, Lord Jesus, I accept you this day as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for the price you paid for my sins. Thank you for giving me a new life to serve you, to love you. Thank you, Father, for giving your son, Jesus Christ. I'm a child of God. I'm born again in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations, brother. As simple as that prayer sounds, something has taken place in your life. The life-giving spirit is now in you. Yes, it's now in you. And I pray for you that you begin to have the fruits of the Spirit in your life in the name of Jesus. You will be a man that will be speaking in tongues, a man that will walk by the Spirit and, 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 and no longer by, in, in the flesh. Hallelujah. Now, let's go ahead and declare these words because a lot of people are going to be set free today. That pain is about to leave your body. That curse is about to be reversed. Hallelujah. I see rejoicing everywhere. Just go ahead and say these words with me. Hallelujah. Now, lay your hands on your chest. Lay your hands on your chest. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for baptizing your spirits. Holy Spirit of God, move in my life. Let your, your life flow in me. Every sickness be gone. Every pain disappear. Everything dead will come back to life. In my Lord Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. The life of God is now at work in you. Some of you will feel some um, sensation around you, you know, on, on your body. Some you will feel um, that this kind of coldness, on, you know, in your body. You may not even have to feel anything, but the Lord is touching you right now. You are set free from that sickness. That infirmity is cast out from you right now. That demon that is, that is oppressing you that said you're not going to enjoy your good health. I cast out by the power of the Holy Ghost. That power of God that is in you right now is checking out every demonic activity that is taking place in your, in your body. Your health is restored and you are caught in the place of divine health in the name of Jesus. Congratulations, brother. I'm super excited to be here with us. And I know that from, from today, may you begin to walk in this divine health that you have received in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Is there I'm super excited to be here with us. My name is Remain Apostle Gabriel Chukebuka Okafo. Um, to reach us, simply call this number 081-055-44424. I'll take the number again, 081-055-44424. I love you. Jesus loves you. Stay excited. God bless you. Until next time. Bye.